Let's take a look at setting up the Exchange Online Management PowerShell module for unattended scripting, so using a certificate for authentication. So the first thing we're going to do is in Azure Active Directory, and from here, we're just going to go to the App Registrations, and we're going to create a new one. I'm going to call it Unattended Exchange Scripting. I'm leave the first option here uh, since we only need a single tenant. No redirect URI necessary because this is a web-based application. We'll go ahead and hit register. And it should create quickly there. And so the next thing we want to do is set up the permissions for this app registration. So on the left-hand side, we'll go to API permissions. And we'll select the option for add a permission. And from here, we'll go to the APIs my organization uses. And I'm going to search for Office 365. And from here, we can select Office 365 Exchange Online. And we're going to do this as an application since we want it to be unattended. We don't want to have to use user credentials at all. And in the permissions here, I'm going to scroll down and, and expand the exchange option and do the exchange manage as app. So we're going to check that box, click add permissions. And there we go, that goes pretty quick. Uh, and you notice that it says that this is not currently granted for my tenant. So if I'm going to go ahead and grant admin consent, and you will need uh, to have permissions to do this. So I've, I'm logged in as a global administrator. So I'm going to click grant permissions, click yes. There we go. It's going to go ahead and say grant successful in the top right. And now we're going to need a certificate. So if we go to the certificates page, we'll now need to create a certificate. So I've got a short script that'll do that for us. So we'll flip around to PowerShell. Uh, and from here, we're going to get we're going to create a certificate using the new self signed certificate commandlet in PowerShell. And we're, I'm going to put it in my certificate store, though you don't have to. And this certificate only has one year until it expires. You can, of course, create this longer if you would like. Let's go ahead and create this certificate. There we go. So now we need a PFX file if we want to export that certificate to use the certificate file instead of referencing our certificate store. So I'm going to use the export PFX certificate. Uh, and here on line 14, this is where we're specifying the password. Please choose a unique password. You probably shouldn't use the one you see on my screen. <laughs> So I'll go ahead and export that. And you notice I'm exporting as exocert.pfx. And I'm also going to need the certificate exported as a .cer file. So this exports just the public part of the certificate. There we go, because that's what we'll upload to Azure Active Directory. So now I'll flip back to Azure Active Directory. I'm already in the certificate screen. If you need to get here, it's the certificates and secrets option on the left. And again, we are inside of the app registration that we just created. So click Upload Certificate. I'll browse for my certificate. Here it is, exocert.cer. You can give it a description if you want. I'm going to leave that blank here since there's only one certificate. Well, there we go. So now we have our certificate in here. We have it locally. So the last thing we need to do is to give this application uh, the Exchange Administrator role in Azure Active Directory. And you, you can give it a lesser role if you want, but for this demo, we're going to use the Exchange Administrator role. So we'll go back to Azure AD, we'll go to Roles and Administrators, and from here we'll search for the Exchange Administrator. I'm going to click on Exchange Administrator. I'm going to select the option to add an assignment, and from here I'll go ahead and search for it. And remember we call it Unattended Exchange Scripting, so I'm going to search for that, click on it, and hit Add. So there we go, now this application now has those permissions. So the, now the permission, we've added the role, and we've added the certificate, so let's go ahead and test it out. So I'm going to go back to my script here, scroll down to the bottom, and from here, here is what we'll do to connect to Exchange. And one thing we need to update here is the application ID. So this is the ID for the previous application I created while I was testing. So we're going to go back to Azure Active Directory, go to our app registrations, and oh, I only have a few here, so it's right at the top. I'm going to copy this application or client ID and then paste that here in the script for the app ID. And from here, you'll notice I'm referencing the certificate path, which is actually, uh, it's actually moved. So I'm just gonna copy this, paste it in there. Uh, and we'll need the password you use to export it, so that, that way we can actually open it, the app ID, and then your organization name as well. And then we'll pass all those parameters to the connect exchange online commandlet. Go ahead and run this, get the information that is output from the exchange module. 
There we go, it's loading. Sweet, no errors. Uh, so we can test that real quick with just using the get exo mailbox. Ah, there we go. So you can see that it is working. So that's how you can set up certificate authentication for the Exchange Online Management Module in PowerShell. Thanks for watching.